the question that I'm fascinated by and a lot of people are wondering, if food allergies like this are on the rise, what's the theory behind why they were increasing? I mean, let's face it, I'm 55. I barely, if ever, remember anybody talking about a peanut allergy as a kid growing up not far from where you are and, and when I w- was a youngster in Dayton, Ohio. Tell me a little bit about what research suggests is the, you know, is saying is the reason for this increased allergy problem. Well, there's a lot of research going on that has been for years and continues to take place, and a lot of research still needs to be done. There is no clear answer as to why. The increase has happened over recent years. There are a lot of different thoughts out there that that's the hygiene hypothesis, it's mm-hmm. genetic, it's all the preservatives in today's food and how clean everybody is today compared to where we're growing at mm-hmm. and keeping everything so clean. Right. So there's a lot of different research going like on. Maybe, like, maybe, like, like maybe the, like like maybe maybe the like the Purell or the, or the hand sanitizers and sort of, you know, the disinfecting that we sort of seem a little bit obsessed with. Right. Maybe some kind and, of a breakdown in our immune system or something with that. Right. And when it comes to hand sanitizer, too, that's another uh, misconception that people have that all just put hand sanitizer on and kill the allergen protein right. that is on my hands, where the sanitizer does not kill the protein. It only spreads it around. I was reading about so really a really soap and water. Yeah, I was reading about a report from the go. University of Portsmouth in the UK. Uh, they said specialists often use a term called food hypersensitivity syndrome, or FHS, when discussing both intolerance and actual food allergies. Are there people, Eleanor, do you feel that, that, that are concerned and suspicious and believe that there's some kind of food allergy when there's really not? Well, there's um, food intolerance, which are those that might have like a lactose intolerance or gluten intolerance. And intolerance doesn't involve the immune system. It involves the digestive system because the body lacks an enzyme needed to digest and process a particular food. So the symptoms of an intolerance could include gas, bloating, abdominal pain. It's not going to cause an anaphylactic reaction. Celiac disease is another disease out there. It's a non-IgE-mediated food allergy, but it doesn't cause an anaphylactic reaction. 